Up next on Ram Center, how did our Lady Rams do in their postseason tournaments? Hear how you can win big in our March Madness Bracket Contest. All of the scores and stats and much, much more, Ram Center starts now. I'm Dallas Steely, this is Ram Center. Hello and welcome back from Spring Break. I'm your host, Ashley Williams, alongside Jerome Ambrose, who's filling in for Josh today, since he's still in Florida. And Jerome, we know the women's basketball team has been tearing it up all season. What can you tell us about their postseason tournament run? Well, Ashley, the Lady Rams PSAC championship run lasted all the way to the final round. Uh, but in the end, they weren't able to get past the very good Cal team, California University of Pennsylvania, that is, losing 70 to 86. Despite the loss, the Lady Rams were still selected to the NCAA Division II Women's Tournament via an at-large bid and were rewarded with the fourth seed in the region, where a win could have set up a rematch with California, but it was not meant to be. Despite dominating at times, the Lady Rams fell to West Liberty in overtime by a final of 88-85. to It's a tough way to end the season. The Lady Rams do finish 24-6, and and you gotta expect them to be right back at the top of the PSAC next season. 24-6? and six? That's still good. Tough loss, but it seems Coach Wooden has the program moving in the right direction. Also in the news, former NBA player and recovering drug addict Chris Heron came to Westchester to share his story to our students in hopes that they won't make the same mistakes he did. Heron was a star player at Boston College, but was kicked off the team for using cocaine. His next stop was Fresno State, where his addiction grew to heroin use and oxycodone. Although he was drafted and played in the NBA, his habits got the best of him and ultimately led to the end of his basketball career. Chris has been sober since August 1st, 2008, and has found a new and more fulfilling career as a public speaker. He says that what he loves most is being able to share his message to younger athletes to help them avoid the type of decisions that ruin his athletic dreams. It was an honor to have him speak at our university. I'm sure his story touched many lives, and hopefully they won't make the same mistakes as a result. That's right. Learn from his mistakes. Every athlete needs to hear that story. Also in the news, the track and field team is holding a clothes and food drive. They're calling it the Perpetual Thanksgiving. They're asking all students to donate canned goods, dry food products, juices, and lightly used clothing. So find something you can donate and look for a box in your dorm. And let's make someone spring a lot brighter. Coming up in this episode, we'll tell you how you can sign up for the Bracket Challenge, bring you a special Cold Cuts highlight segment, followed by Samaire with Pro Sports. But first, let's update you on the scores from last week. The men's tennis team went 1-3 and three this past week. The bright spot was an 8-1 to one victory over Damon College. The Rams finished 2-3 two and, th two and three overall on their spring break trip and look to get back to winning ways this week versus USP. The women's tennis team also had a 1-3 and three week. Their victory also came against Damon College by a score of 8-1. to one. Wow. I mean, can we play Damon College every week? Right? Yeah. The NCAA Division II Swimming and Diving Championships happened last week. And our Golden Rams, fresh off their 17th straight PSAC championship, placed 14th overall. Viktor Polakov had a stellar performance in the 500-yard freestyle. He finished second overall in the event with a time of 4 minutes, 21.25 seconds. The women's team placed 21st overall, and they were led by Kendall Summer, who had the highest finish ever for a female athlete in a championship event. Overall, a solid season for both our swimming and diving teams. Way to go, Kendall. On to the gymnastics team, winners of their last match versus Southern Connecticut State University. They won by a final score of 191.65 to 191.40. Majesta Valentine stole the show with four first place finishes. Yes. Four. She tied the school record on the floor exercise with a score of 9.875 and broke her own record in the all around with a score of 38.90. Valentine placed first in the vault with a score of 9.725 and she also won the balance beam event with a score of 9.7. Up next for Majesta and the team is the ECAC Women's Gymnastics Championships. The uh, women's gymnastics team has been solid all season, so I wouldn't be shocked to see them bring home the championship. Yep, I'm hoping they can. Yeah, I think so too. Well, the basketball season may be over, but we still have some action from the Lady Rams victory over Shippensburg in the PSAC tournament. Let's check it out. PSAC quarterfinal action. The Lady Rams play host to Shippensburg University in a winner-takes-all matchup. And the quest for the PSAC tournament got off to a shaky start. Lauren Gold got the Lady Raiders off to a quick start, knocking down a three on her first shot. Gold again, this time from the top of the key, she hits a three. Then off the offensive rebound, Gold lines up open three and drills that one. She finished with 25 points. But the Golden Rams would find their rhythm. Anna Kuntz gets them on the board with a strong drive and finish. Then on the defensive end, Kuntz blocks a shot. She's going to start the break. Then find Brittany Szynski, who gives it right back to her. 
Sweet assist for Szynski. She had four in the night to lead the dub. Schippenberg would respond. Good ball movement leads to another open three for Lauren Gold, who knocks it down. Gold had six threes on the night. But right back come the Rams. Szynski heads to the rim like a runaway train, gets the basket and the foul. Then off the rebound, Sharifa Junaid shows off the running hook and one with that one as well. Uh, Maria Powell is going to sky in for the offensive putback, part of an 11-point run that helped give Westchester an eight-point lead at halftime. Second half became the Dallas Ely Show. The junior guard takes the short outlet and turns on the Jets, taking on the entire Shippensburg team and finishes with a nice soft runner. She also sold the mid-range game with a quick pull-up for two. And how about long range? She's got that too. The defender goes under the screen, she pulls up and drains a three. Shippensburg would answer with a three of its own, coming by Morgan Griffith. It was her only three of the game, but it was too much Rams down the stretch. Junaid beating Griffith with a nice ball fake for another and one. The super quick Porsche Speller knifes through the lane and lays it up. Then another Szynski assist, this time to Jasmine Clark. And the final dagger came on this play. Uh, up seven, a perfectly executed out of bounds play gets Ely some space and she knows what to do with it. Drops the bomb from downtown, extending the lead to double digits. The Lady Rams never look back, defeating Shippensburg 77 to 70. They'll be moving on to play IUP in the semifinals held at Bloomsburg University. It sucks they didn't win it all, but congratulations on a great season, Lady Rams. Yes, and congrats to all our winter sports teams on their respective seasons. Now let's see what Samara's got cooking this week in pro sports. It has been a chaotic week since free agency began on Tuesday, and fans are going crazy as unexpected trades have been made. After trading their all-time leading rusher, LaShawn McCoy, to the Buffalo Bills, the Eagles acquired linebacker Kiko Alonso. In his rookie season with the Bills, Alonzo recorded 87 tackles and two sacks with four interceptions. Quarterback Nick Foles was traded to the Rams in return for Sam Bradford. Cornerback Byron Maxwell of the Seahawks was also acquired. Despite only having 17 starts under his belt, he has only allowed four touchdown passes and significantly enhances the team's secondary. Fans were confused until the signing of star running back DeMarco Murray of the Dallas Cowboys. Murray signed a five-year, $42 million deal with $21 million guaranteed. Murray carried the ball 392 times in 2014 for 1,845 yards and 13 touchdowns. Switching over to basketball, Russell Westbrook has been a household name over the past few weeks, making a late push in the MVP race. Westbrook has recorded six triple doubles in his past eight games, tremendously making up for the absence of reigning MVP Kevin Durant, who has been out with a foot injury. From one point guard to another, Kyrie Irving of the Cleveland Cavaliers posted an incredible 57 points on Thursday against the Spurs. After hitting a buzzer-beating three-pointer that sent the game into overtime, Irving was 20 of 32 from the field, 7 of 7 from deep, and 10 of 10 from the line. Setting a new franchise record, Kyrie Irving's 57 points were the most points scored versus a defending champ since Wilt Chamberlain scored 62 points versus the Celtics in 1962. That's all I have for this week. I'm Samara Rosenfeld. Ashley and J-Rom, back to you. Thanks, Samir. Well, it is officially March Madness. Sure the brackets have been released, and now it's your turn to show off your bracketology skills. March Madness, baby. Who is excited? I know I am. Ram Center will be having our first ever NCAA March Madness Bracket Tournament Challenge. We will monitor the brackets throughout the tournament, and whoever has the most accurate predictions will win a $50 gift card of their choice and a chance to be a guest on this show. Not only that, but you can also win a $20 gift card by spreading the word via social media by, repost by retweeting or reposting our picture. To enter the bracket contest, you must sign up and create your bracket at bracketchallenge.ncaa.com. You have until Tuesday, March 17th, 12 noon, to sign up. Let's see who the winner is in three weeks. Jerome, you participating? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely participating. They need to coordinate spring break with, like, the start of the tournament so I can just sit home and watch all the games. <laughs> That would be perfect. I'll, let, I'll suggest that to them. Yeah, and that's our show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get out and check out the Golden Rams in action this week. 
Hopefully the weather is perfect. Until next time, I'm your host, Ashley Williams. And I'm Jerome Ambrose. Bye, y'all.